Good morning, all my fellow sparklers. Welcome to my channel, Wonderland Tea and Diamonds. And today I'm doing a quick unboxing. This is from a company called Spell Queen. Um, someone mentioned it on Facebook and I thought, well, I'll check them out. Um, they do ship from China. This took about three weeks to get and cost $20, but shipping was free, I believe. Um, and they offer a free diamond painting pen. Um, so we'll see because this is supposed to be 30 by 30 and it's in like a box because I actually thought this was my wizardy charm I ordered for my grandmother's birthday. Um, so they did send it FedEx and they actually didn't update my account. I had to write to them and ask um, what was going on but if I just waited a couple of days it would have arrived. But I just want to make sure they shipped it. Um, so, and they got back to me right away and say, yes, it's been shipped and here's the tracking number. And they just hadn't updated my order on their website. So, here you see it says Spell Queen, unique art that sparkles. Over here they say they're a pioneer in diamond painting. Um, missing diamond insurance and a five-star product. So, as you can see, this, oh, why aren't you focusing? There we go. This is a 30 by 30. And it has to be folded in there, so I really hope it's poured glue. Let me get my measuring tape. Not prepared this morning. Um, so it came in this box and it comes sealed. And this is how it shipped from China, so it's a little beat up, but not too bad. Um, open this one. Just kind of open this side. And here's what's inside. So here's the free diamond painting pen I chose. You got a choice between like this style and like kind of something fuzzy on the end and something else. Um, and there's the stylus, but then like for me, I'm probably not going to use this diamond painting pen um, because I like multi-placers or straighteners on the end of mine and this does not allow for that. You do get a regular diamond painting pen. Um, and it comes with a multi-placer, uh, tweezers, kind of standard tweezers, a little storage box, uh, pin grip, and little labels, a bag, and the white tray with the funnel. And this was a square. I chose a square because squares tend to be more troublesome in terms of diamonds and rounds. And I wanted to see how it did. So I meant to measure the box. So the box itself is 24 centimeters. And the bag that the painting is in is less than that. It's 22 and a half centimeters. Oh, and this is folded over. Oh my god. So the drills are inside of here. This is part of the painting that was folded over. Oh my goodness. I'm just not sure this is a way to treat a diamond painting. But we'll see. Okay, so it's very crinkly. See, it looks a little wrinkled, but because it's poured glue, it'll come out. Um, right now, this looks way under 30 by 30. Like, way under. Like, 20. Oh my god, this looks like a 20 by 20. So unimpressed with this. The rendering's fine, the colors look good, but dear lord, this is small. This is one of the smallest diamond paintings I've ever received. So definitely not worth $20. Um, it's not quite 22 So it's 21 and a half approximately. And it's, yeah, again, it's, it's a little over 21 and a half. This side's almost 22. The canvas size is in fact 30, but they take a whole four centimeters off each and every side. And I am not okay with that. So given that, the fact that it came folded, which is really, really odd to me, even though it's poured glue and it'll press out, you can see here that, like, this is probably going to need ironing. This is a pretty stiff canvas, and I'm not sure just putting this under books is going to work. I think I'm going to have to iron that. Then, you have the key. Um, it's a mix of symbols and letters and numbers. There are DMC codes. Um, wow, wow, for $20 to get a 20 by 20 I mean, I could get that for $3.99 off of 
any of the cheap sites, everyday e-deals, Peggy Buy, fan sales, anything. And um, yeah, there's actually another <laughs> toolkit in here. So I've got another basic boat wax and pen. Uh, you do actually, so you don't get this for the other ones, you get an inventory sheet. Probably should sit down and inventory this real quick actually, just to make sure because if that's a point for or against them, but wow, I mean, I think the smallest one I've received is actually 15 by 25, which was a, a freebie, and it was a custom of my sister's dog, and I was actually impressed with that one because it was $9 shipping and free. Um, and I'm more impressed with that than this one that cost over twice as much. I mean, the drill field is clear at least. The colors look vibrant. Um, so far none of the symbols look too confusing. There's a Y and a V, but they're very different backgrounds. But overall, I mean, I just can't get it over the disappointment of the size. I don't think I've ever had even the cheapo diamond paintings take as much as nine centimeters almost off of the sides. That's just nuts. That's that's blatant false advertising in my book. If you say it's a 30 by 30 and then you send me this, I really expect it for $20. 30 by 30 is my drill field. It is a cute pick. The other problem I had with their site is um, several of their pictures were from unlicensed artists. And I went through five paintings that I liked before I found one that was not licensed. So, uh, and the way I did that was to use 10i. So I would screenshot the image, upload it into 10i, and then it would say, yes, this is by this artist and it's being sold on Fine Art America or, or wherever. Um, so this was one that seemed to be a stock image. I could be wrong, but 10i did not come up with this, with an artist for this one. Um, and they had some of the old masters as well, but I just kind of liked this colorful cat, but let me inventory this and we'll look at the drills and then we'll talk more about my disappointment. I'm just kidding, you know I'm disappointed. Okay, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, all the colors are here. Um, 22 of them. You're down the DMC. Um, names for them. Uh, they tell you how many you need here. I guess, no, okay, they tell you how many you need here and how many they gave you and I just guess that's right because they're in baggies. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have no idea whether that's 600 drills or not. It looks about it, but I don't know. So, uh, number one is very dark red. It is one of the darkest shades of the dark red I've seen. Two is dark blue. Three is bright green. Again, it looks more like scrambled egg yellow every time. I don't know why they call it bright green. Uh, I mean, that's a DMC thing. That's not this company. Four is pewter gray. Um, oh, and the DMC codes are on here and they're on the thing. So one was 154, two dark blue is 158, three bright green is 165, and four pewter gray is 169. Number five is 208, it's very dark lavender. Number six is 413, dark pewter. Number seven, um, this one's too dark to me. It's called very dark blue green. And there's just barely any green. It really looks almost black. And that's how it's gonna come across in the painting. There's no 310 in this. And this is number 500. Um, so that's a bit too dark for my taste. Number eight is, in a lot of paintings, 550, very dark violet. Number nine is bright chartreuse, number 704. Number 10, they're calling topaz. It's a bit bright to me. I think topaz should be a little more earthy toned. And that is DMC number 725. 11 is 783, medium topaz. You see together how bright this one is compared to this. If this is just regular and this is medium, there's too many steps in between those colors to me. Number 12 is 792 Dark Cornflower Blue. Number 13 is Dark Royal Blue, number 796. 14 is 799 Medium Delft Blue. 
15, the ubiquitous 939, very dark navy blue. Number 16 is 955, light Nile green, like a light jade color. Number 17 is 993, very light aqua. Number 18 is medium electric blue, number 996. 19 is dark shell pink, number 3721. Number 20 is 3766, light peacock blue. 21 is 3838, dark lavender blue. And number 22 is 3849, light teal green. Um, so the colors are okay, the drills look okay, other than number 7 I think is too dark. Um, I'm looking at the sides, let me see if I can get this to focus up close. They look pretty straight. I saw one a second ago that looked... Sometimes the sides kind of come in a bit. Now I can't find it to show it to you. Um, I'm not seeing plastic bits sticking off the side, which is good. I know some people have gotten some where they're like, well, I have to file all these down. Oh my gosh. To file... E oh, there's one. To file each and every one of these down? I would just order a new set of drills. See, that one's not perfectly straight. It kind of curves in at the side. So there's a few like that, but you're going to get those with, with square drills. And that's part of why I ordered square. square. I'm sorry, I can't talk. Um, because that is a bigger test of quality than rounds. So overall good. You can kind of see right there is another one that comes a little bit at the sides. But it's better they come in a little bit than they have bits sticking out. Um, overall... Just, I can't recommend this company. They use unlicensed artwork. This is tiny. And it. I did look at the listing. Okay, so here's the listing. I pulled it up for you. So you can see the comparison. Um, hopefully this kind of kits up brighter than this. This, uh, But the colors are still pretty good. I chose square 30 by 30. Do you see this price they're trying to tell you? $51.99, like, they are tripping. No one is ever going to pay their quote-unquote full retail price. And it's $22.99, and then I don't think I paid $22. I, I paid right at $19.99, so they must have gone up. That's really strange. Um, ships in three days. So. Free shipping over $20, um, and you get a free diamond painting pen with any painting you buy. Um, I definitely, I think three days means that that's how long it takes them to process it because it comes from China. So if you get some from China in three days, let me know. Um, I'm just curious how much their 100 by 100 is. $90. Like 202. What? Get out of here. But after I got a 30 by 30 and it was so much smaller than that size, I would never pay for 100 by 100 with this company. Um, it does say canvas, but I really, if you go smaller than 25 by 25 on a 30 by 30 canvas, you're cheating people. And that's, that's just the long and short of it. I mean, to charge $20 and get a, a 22 by 22 painting, um, it's not okay. So at the end of the day, I don't recommend this company. Thumbs down. Okay drills. Okay coloring. Poor glue. Came folded in the box. Um, so big, big points off. Came folded in the box and 9 centimeters off of almost 9 centimeters. 8.5 to 9. Off of both sides. Both, well, so like 4.5 on one side, 4.5 on those sides. Um, it does come, the only bonus is it came with this quote-unquote free diamond painting pen, but when you're paying 20 bucks for a tiny painting, you paid for that. And it came with a nicer toolkit. Um, but at the end of the day, absolutely not worth it to me. Um, I mean, you can get these things for so cheap, especially if you're ordering from AliExpress. They're ubiquitous. The inventory sheet is nice, but not again, not worth the price for what you get. So that's my review of Spell Queen. Check it out if you want to. I am going to link them below just in case you want to see for yourself. But uh, I absolutely cannot recommend this company based on those, the size, the way it was shipped, and the price. So 
Let me know if you agree, if I'm being too picky, or um, if you have any questions about anything else in this video below in the comments. And I hope to see you in more um, happier diamond painting videos in the future. So have a good afternoon and keep sparkling.